I once heard Dr. Aaron share that nine out of 10 people who suffer from eczema have an overgrowth of staph aureus. Would that be correct? I would agree with that. Yes. And it's just, it's crazy how so many of us do have an overgrowth of staph, but it's not often talked about or shared about. Yeah. And we actually have some understanding now as to like why that happens. So again, staph aureus is present on, on a lot of people. If you just go swab people out there, I mean, most people are going to have some level of staph aureus on the skin. And it's interesting because when they map the microbiome on the skin, there's two places where we find that staphylococci in general, that those, all of the staph organisms like to hang out. This is going to sound pretty familiar to people with eczema. It's here, what we call the antecubital fossa in the crook of the elbow and behind the knees where we call the popliteal fossa. I don't think it's an accident that those are two very popular areas where people tend to have persistent eczema. I think the thin, the skin is thin and staph aureus kind of naturally hangs out there. And so they're the first places that may tend to overgrow. Because then the obvious question is, why? Where is all this staph aureus coming from, right? Why, why do people with eczema have staph and why is it growing out of control and what kind of is kicking off this process? And we have to talk about pH. 